In this session, I'll be showing you how to create tables. Remember that your cursor is the insertion point, so wherever you're going to insert an object, it will be entered by where the cursor is, unless you're going to move the object around. So I'll click on OK, Insert, Tables. These are the number of rows. So that's three rows, and that is four columns. Or you can click on Insert, Number of rows, three, number sorry number of columns three and number of rows four I click on ok that's my table if i click away from my table you can see my um, the tabs that i have is file home insert design layout reference mailing review and view once i click inside these two additional tabs that appears which is design and layout these two tabs allows us to focus on editing the table as what is required if I'd want to make this one row, I click on layout, your options over here, which is, you can draw an additional table, you can erase lines, you can delete, insert above, insert below, insert left, insert right, merge cell, split and split table. So now what I'd want is I'll click on merge cells because I want to make it one column and I will type in the training. I'll just add some ticks. Um, what I'll put in over here is modern. Okay. So I would want to make this bold. I'll increase the font size a bit. And I'll see to that. So if I want to put a shading in the first row, I'll click on design. I have shading. You can choose any shading that you want, or you'd of course follow the instructions as indicated. In this case, I'm just going to use the light shading. To change the borders around, I'd want to change the outside border to a two-line border. So you choose two-line, and then you're going to draw on the line. And that is how you'd change the border styles. If you'd want a single line, but just increase the width of the line, you can choose that. And that is basically the designing of a table. Part layout, there's one more thing I'd want to show you is the height and the width. To get rid of the pencil or the paintbrush, you press escape. You highlight the width. Uh, so you highlight the cells and you can change it by typing in it so I can change it by one press one press enter and now this one centimeters the same you can do with the width one more thing um, the distribution alignment of the text so if I'd want this to be center aligned so these are the alignment options we have. This is align center, top, top, align top center, bottom center. So let's put the top center. So now we can see that the text are, is top centered within the table. Thank you.